At the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, researchers carefully clean a treasure trove of bones from Ice Age animals. Ian Miller is the museum's curator of paleontology. We have mammoths and mastodons, a giant ground sloth, Ice Age bison, deer, beavers, and a tiger salamander. More than 600 Ice Age bones have been recovered. They come from an ancient lake bed near Colorado's Snowmass Ski Resort. It all started late last year when a construction crew was expanding a local reservoir. And they saw some ribs pop up over the big blade of the D6 bulldozer. And they knew right away that they had something different. It didn't look like a cow, but they didn't know what it was. And so they picked it up and they took it home. And on the internet that night, they looked up what a mammoth looked like. And the next day they called us. While the big machines did crack some of the bones, Miller says it's so exciting to have found this site, he's not that upset. You've got to dig to find the fossils. And if you don't go out there and dig, you're not going to find anything. These Ice Age fossils are 50 to 150,000 years old. Colorado is also home to fossils that date back 150 million years, like its state dinosaur, the Stegosaurus, and Diplodocus from the sauropod family, the largest animals that ever walked the earth. The plant-eating iguanodon and the ostrich-sized dinosaur that preyed on it left their footprints on this slab of rock exposed by a road crew in the 1930s. The Dinosaur Ridge Museum shares their story. And there's no telling what discoveries about the ancient past might lie ahead. After all, says the museum's Joe Temple, anyone can be a fossil hunter. You just have to have a set of fresh eyes and know a little bit about what you're looking for. As for that mammoth find up in snowmass, once the snow melts, probably in May, the scientists will be back at the site looking for more relics from the past. For VOA News, I'm Shelley Slender in Denver.